What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a little bit of an old rumor on Persona 6, but I thought it'd be timely because I want to tie it into and speculate of if it'll also be at Tokyo Game Show. So kind of a two-part video for you. And let's start with the leak first. The, the tough thing with this leak, and I've been trying to decipher this for a while because I saw it the day it went live. Basically, there was a lot of confusion online with I'm a Hero 2. And this is an individual that if you're a Persona fan or you followed Persona online, you may have heard this user before because they're pretty good. And they kind of are tied into Persona in terms of leaks, in terms of rumors. When this person speaks, it's pretty reliable and people tend to follow them. The issue is there was somebody pretending to be this person. And even the clarification, and that's what we're going to talk about, this rumor of Persona, it's supposedly from the real one, but I don't know with 100% certainty if it actually is the real leaker or if it's another person pretending to be them. Even the comments are not 100% sure. So definitely take this with a grain of salt because I think if it does come from the real person, it's much more likely but if it's somebody pretending to be them, then obviously it kind of all falls apart. But there was a couple Persona 6 tidbits in their entire rumor that they posted online. And so let's read three of them. One of them is actually not new. Persona 6 is a bit further away than last time I updated, and they did say something about it last time. I don't think it's making 2024. Original plan was revealing it last winter. Main theme of Persona 6 is black and white. It's still too early to talk about. I'm waiting on other leakers before the floodgates open. There's another Persona game yet to be revealed. It's a party game. So what makes me really worried that this is still not the actual leaker is... A lot of the stuff we've heard before, at least some of it, the Persona spin-off game that's a party game, that is not new. I don't know why you would include that when you pretty much, this person, I think it was this person, had literally already said it before. Uh, the black and white thing, people are debating because there's like a different color scheme that people thought it was going to be. But black and white does seem realistic, like it definitely does seem possible. But then also waiting for other people to talk about it before they go into it further kind of sounds to me like a cop-out, like they're afraid of giving too much info you know so it's a little weird that one's a little weird the biggest thing is that release right so it doesn't seem like it's making 2024 you look if this is true this rumor is true this is the one that i least want to actually happen right in fact this is the thing that makes me want the entire leak to not actually be real because going into 2025 oh man i'll wait i mean we're not that far away i guess from 2025 you know maybe it comes out january or february so we're maybe like a year and a half away there really isn't that far it's actually scary how close that is but it's also not like next fall i'd really like it next fall. i mean that's a personal preference that's selfishness but uh, obviously that's kind of just what I hope for or what I want to see. Look, ultimately, get the game out when they're ready to. I, I don't want them rushing it or anything like that. So all jokes aside, come out when it's ready to come out. You know, any of that other stuff can kind of just fade away. But that would be interesting, right? So early 2025. And that just makes the potential reveal even more interesting because it's like if this thing was supposed to be announced. Now, they say last winter. I thought it was last summer or last fall is when it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was also supposed to be last winter. So that's a little confusing as well. But, you know, as I've said time and time again, and this is what brings us now to the TGS part of this video, can we please, please get something? Now, Atlas is going. The issue is they're going with the, the headline that it's for Persona 3 Reload and it's Persona 5 Tactica, right? Those are kind of their primary reasons for being there. So could I see them completely ignoring Persona 6? Yes, because ultimately, at least from what they say, and if you take them at their word, uh, it's not their reason for being there, right? They got games that are coming out, one literally in November, and the other one, I believe, what, in February, early February. So they have two games very, very close to releasing to continue to market and show new stuff for and talk about. So I get skipping Persona 6, but at the same time, I would say almost equal, at least in terms of my hope, my optimism, if you're going with such a big focus on Persona games, and again, yes, they're games coming out in the next, like, four months, but, like, why can't you just do one little tease, that one last thing, you know, you do at shows? Why can't you do one last thing and tease Persona 6, considering the main things you're talking about is the Persona franchise and two different games? Why not do a third one, right? And just kind of throw it out there that they're working on and, and all that jazz. As I've said, and maybe this is the first video people have seen of me for Persona 6, so in case it is, 
I never, like, I don't care if they show 20 minutes or if they just tease the thing. Like, if we get a 30-second reveal that just says Persona 6, it just shows us the color scheme of the game, that's fine. Like, I, I don't really care if we get, you know, five minutes or a three-minute trailer. If you just tease it, that's really all I kind of want. Um, So, honestly, I would put it more 50-50. I kind of lean towards no because my heart's been broken just many times from them not announcing it. Eventually, they will announce a Persona 6. It just will it be at this event you know again it could be as good as any so it is possible and with the persona theme there it's also possible so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and i hope to see you all on the next one